morning, folks. Yeah, I know I got the camera back up and down again, but that's because my hands is full. Uh, my nerves are shot. It's just been a, just an awful, awful morning. We've had heavy downpours for two days, and uh, my eaves trough is busted. So water's going into an old rowboat with a hole punched in it and a hose going out and heading out far away from the house. The hose can't keep up with it, so i got to use a, another little hose that's got the baffle in it, you know, a little marble in it. You shake it, we call it the chicka chicka hose, and it automatically siphons everything out. Jam that into another hose to get that to drain away from the house, and the boat is just filling up so fast, even with two garden hose size to, to you know, suck up the water, it's not coming out fast enough. That's not the worst of it. The worst of it is my barn's at the bottom of a hill and the inside section of the barn where the chickens are dirt floor is not dirt anymore it's a freaking pond my chickens can't hop down without landing in the water so now they're all wet and upset because they went on angelina's side she's her side is dry because she has a raised floor rubber mats and all that her floor goes up about six seven inches all right well, the other chicken coop isn't finished. I don't have the bird blocking in it, and uh, I haven't filled up any of the spaces, you know, and I'm worried about weasels and, and raccoons and stuff getting in there because there's no, there's like open spaces at the top. And then they can, uh, the weasels can get in the bottom because uh, the wood is not right up against the walls, right? So there's like a little bit of a gap, and it, the weasel doesn't need a big gap. Weasel can get through chicken wire, okay? So like those little ermines, you know? They can get right through that, no problem. So that's not really helping much. So I got to figure out something to pack into there because I have to move my girls. And it looks like we've got four to six inches of water in that center room. And that blocks the back door and it blocks the front door. So Angelina can't even come out unless I build her like a plywood walkway, you know, raised up to get her out of the barn. I can't have them getting sick. I, I have no idea where I'm going to get the money to fix this. I have to dig up the whole floor. I was talking about this last year. I thought I'd have a little bit more of a chance. I thought I got a break this year because the snow melted and we didn't have a problem. But just two days of steady rain and yep, she filled right up. So I can't afford the gravel. I can't afford the drainage tubes. I can't afford new plywood and I don't have a pump to pump the water out. So I gotta go crawl around basically on my hands and knees behind the back door and start digging a tunnel to let the water out, out into the pen. And uh, I looked and all the bottom of the door is so rotten from the winter, like the door, the door jam, I, I don't know what you call it, the base of the door, you know, the door frame is completely rotted out. So it, I, I, I don't know how I'm going to fix this, but I need to get it fixed because I have to leave the, once I get it out and have to run fans and leave the barn open to let it air out, or I'm going to get mold all up the walls and everything, you know, and then that poopy hay and stuff. It's just, it's just an awful mess. So I'm just having a smoke right now, trying to regroup because everything's just blown apart. And like I said, I don't know. I don't have money to fix my eaves trough. You know what they charge for that? I don't have money to, to fix a whole floor, right? Like, I was trying. I've been trying. I've been saving every penny I got. And so far, I've only got enough saved up to buy a couple small pieces of lumber. And that's it. But there's no point in putting that in to fix it until I solve the problem of the floor. So I'm going to have to dig a trench all the way around, put pipe in it, cover the trench in gravel. Um, have to pack all new dirt on top of it or something and then build a raised floor that's all I can do right so but I don't know anybody want to buy a prom dress or something I got three of them <laughs> I got some jewelry for sale I got all kinds of knickknacks brick brack freaking frack <laughs> I just I, I need to buy some like sewage pipe basically you know so I figured that would probably work the best, the drainage pipe that I would use like in a septic system. That way, anything that the pipe does fill up, then at least it would drain down into the gravel and leach down deeper into the into the ground instead of just coming right up the top. It's just, it's ridiculous. It's coming in from under Angelina's floor at the back of the barn. I'm probably going to have to put sandbags or something. And it goes around the corners, and when it comes around the corners, 
for some reason it wants to start leaking in the front door and the back door and it's filling up fast I mean damn near as fast as that bolt so anyways that's where I'm at right now and uh, I'll do a video later I need to get out there but I just want to give you a heads up like you know <laughs> check your barns <laughs> if you're getting a lot of rain check everything and this started last night while we were all sleeping had no clue it was dry when I was in there at dinner time I stayed in there till eight o'clock you know just puttering around and trying to clean up and maybe I should have left all that hay on the floor instead of cleaning out their room right because now nothing but yeah it's it's not pretty <laughs> and it stinks and it's like oh really are you kidding me so I'm gonna go get suited up and hopefully the pair of rubber boots friend gave me all right because i couldn't afford a pair of those either um but hopefully the rubber boots they gave me don't leak because i'm gonna be covered in schmutz i'm pretty sure and the last thing i want is that down inside my boot squishing up between my toes making me smell all pretty like a girl oh yeah all right well my friend likes to say good lord willing in the creeks don't rise well it's not really a creek but it sure looks like a pond <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Try to enjoy your weekend, and uh, I want to see if I can't do some scrambling around here and try to find something to work, right? I, I definitely don't want to do a mouth siphon from the hose, you know what I mean? That's just going to be a little bit gross, right? So, anyways, uh, no pumps. I'm going to see if I can maybe find somebody with a pump but or something, get somebody out here to help me because I can't do this all by myself. I'm about ready to lose my mind. Okay, anyways, I'll, I'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day, and I'll see you in a little while.